EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Mid-Season Classic. Frank, this game has taken us all over the world to some absolutely beautiful spots, and this is one of the prettiest I've seen in a long time, the cliffs at Lighthouse Point along the eastern coast of Maine. It's always uh, fun when we head up uh, in the northeast area. Golf's been in this area for a long, long time. This golf course hasn't, rather than new design by Brandt and Patel, and uh, it's lengthy, 7,700 yards. You'll get to hit just about every club in the bag, so good test today. We're off and running here, and let's take you down to the action at hole number one. Frank, were you the kind of player who actually might have been worried if you didn't have first tee jitters? Definitely. You didn't have the energy if that was the case, but uh, it's about turning that energy into some sort of positive form. Make nice full swings, pick some good targets, and of course, you never know what's going to happen. Set for his next shot from a good position in the fairway. Strong winds have been a factor all day here, Frank. What's the key to scoring low in conditions like this? Well, sometimes you've almost got to uh, make the ball go to ground. You've just got to keep it out of those high breezes, uh, play away from the trouble. That is a green in regulation as the approach shot hits the first green, but he is by no means in for par yet. A lengthy putt coming up. Looks like he just misread that. And the computer dials this one up at 26 feet. Frank, he might like this one. He might like, oh, he's gonna love it, Frank. Do that, Frank, what a putt. I didn't go that far in a holiday. Now at the second hole here at Lighthouse, it's a par three, 234 yards. Difficult hole, Frank, especially when the wind picks up. It is, and uh, you can see with that bunker on the right side, that's obviously the bailout area because the problem side is to the left of this green. That's where the cliff starts to run all the way down to the ocean. This is a very difficult par three, not just because of its length, but because it's exposed to all of Maine's elements. That will be a great look at birdie. Not a gimme, but well within his range.
And with that birdie, moving into the top five on the leaderboard. And we're starting to uh, notice the name. So coming off a birdie on the last hole. That was terrible. Frank, can one small tweak from an instructor lead to a big turnaround? With the right player, yeah. You, you just want to hear the right message. It's, it's like anyone in life. You just want to be pointed in the right direction. into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Frank, here we go again. Another shot from the rough. Yeah, let's see if he uh, learned his lesson. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Might want to check the GPS on a putt this long. That's a bit offline in the rough. He'll need to be strong with this. Settles in over the putt. So with that, the score is now at even par. For those of you just tuning in, we're checking in now on our featured golfer here at the fourth. As we catch up with today's featured golfer, Frank, what's the key to generating some momentum? Just hitting good shots. I know it sort of sounds like the old cliche, but uh, plenty of opportunities. A few 10, 15 foot putts start going down. This round will change dramatically. It's over. The green. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him.
Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets him in the top ten. Now at the fifth hole, it's a par four. Frank, what are we in store for? Well, it's very easy to get lulled into a false sense of security here, Rich. No fairway bunkers. You sort of think you would blaze away. But really, you've got to find the fairway here. Very small green and well protected by that bunker short and right of this green. So if you miss the fairway, this hole becomes very difficult indeed quite quickly. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. That should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Rich, that was some shot out of the rough. I really didn't think he could even get that on the green. Well, just to get it on the green, as you say, I think is a big win. Wow, I can't believe he found the cup on that one. Clean up on aisle five. Now at the sixth hole, it's a par three, just under 200 yards. Where's the